Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, I am currently working on my box blade here and welding up the blade on here. So that is what I am currently doing. And I'll just figure out, show y'all what I'm doing exactly. So get y'all some shades on. Enjoy the video.
welding the blade on here and I'll take y'all on a little closer look here. Uh, a weld is okay I and mean, it's not the greatest. But it is solid all the way across. So and on on this end here I'm gonna redo it because it looks like junk. But uh on the bottom of it, I'm going to make some gussets on the bottom of it and weld in there. So the blade here doesn't bend back and forth as I'm digging. But, uh, and that frame right there used to be the old hay fork, hay prong that I had. It is going to be put on as a three point hitch for this thing because it's really super heavy. And I got it set up from a quick hitch on the 5000. So. That's what this is going to be used on because the other tractor is just not going to be have enough guts to do it. So, Kitty, get off there. You step on that, it's going to hurt like a. You'll be a fried pussy cat, as Uncle Eddie would put it. But, uh, other than that, that's about what I'm going to, uh, all I'm going to do today on this thing. Because, like I said, I got to build some gussets. That right there is a blade for the back side of this thing, and uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on there right now, because uh, pushing backwards on stuff is really, you know, it's hard on, it's actually hard on stuff, hard on three-point hitch and stuff like that, top link stuff, so I may not even put a blade on the back of it for a while, but uh, anyways, I need, I kind of like to have it the back side of as a just to kind of as it to smooth stuff out and everything like that but yeah other than that that's got kind of what i've been doing today uh, just messing around with this i wasn't gonna get into nothing much so uh kenny you going to walk take a walk but yeah this here is the top side this here is where my three-point hitch is going to be mounted so uh i got to Mount it. Nope. Get, get, get back. I don't want you burning yourself. I'm going to put the three point hitch here, and then back here, I'm going to put some uh, braces for it. So, uh, that's what those hay prongs there, that's what some of those are going to be for. Well, that's part of that's going to be used for. And then I got some steel back there that I can use too. But, uh, but yeah, this thing here is super heavy. It's a category two. And like I said, I got it set up for the quick hitch down there. So it'll be perfect for that. And this is a eight foot blade and it's super heavy. A friend of mine built it himself. And he gave it to me because he wasn't going to finish it. So uh, he said he wanted something but he'd be able to use it. And so that's what I'm doing is working on getting this done. Looking forward to getting it out, getting it used. So, that's about all I got for you today. Uh, it's kind of a gloomy day here. But it wouldn't be fall if it wasn't, so. Y'all take it easy. Have a wonderful and happy rest of your Thanksgiving day. And I will holler at y'all later. Hey, it's me again. Well, I went ahead and kind of fabric, uh, kind of put this up just a little bit. Just, uh see what it looks like and i got it just tack welded on there uh just barely and then i got a clamp on it but uh i just want to see what it looks like doesn't look too bad on there so uh like i said a minute ago i'm going to run some braces from here down to right there kind of in the corner right there on both sides and then maybe one down towards the middle there i'm not sure yet but uh, I am going to be able to weld the back side of this and then up underneath here and then over here I'm probably going to put some angle wiring right here and brace it up a little bit 
and see how that works so that's what i got so far like i said i had this set up for a quick hitch so that's the category two pin and then i got this welded in braced up for the top link part of it so it worked out pretty well when i had a hay spear on there the reason why i took that off or cut that off because uh i was having problems with my spear not going in the bells real good because it's so thick and everything so i went ahead and just cut that off and using gonna use that and i got some bright uh angle iron and some uh uh some more stuff over here to brace it up with and some uh heavy steel plates right here too and some more angle iron here so that's what i'm going to use to help brace that thing up so uh and then uh, i got some more scrap metal down here if i need it but yeah i'm going to that's all i'm going to do today i'm tired wore out and uh just going to relax go eat, eat some more food so y'all you know, take it easy keep in touch i will try to put this video up tonight if i can if i think so i think to do it but this is how it's looking so far and we'll see what happens with it so y'all take it easy and i'll talk to y'all later